Hello friends, welcome back to Angular JS Tutorial Series Part 23. My name is Nusha Singla, and in this module, we will be talking about custom directives in Angular JS. First, let's talk about why we need directives. So, when HTML was first created, it was never intended to use it the way we are using it today. It was used to represent your static data, but as the need of dynamic data increased, we want dynamic document. As our needs evolve, we found HTML more like a programming language rather than just a markup for creating static documents. And you can see this in case of web component. If you are not familiar about web component, web component is an adapt proposal of current W3C specification and it allows you to create your own custom HTML element with embedded functionality. So, Angular gives you this functionality of creating these web components with the help of directives. So in AngularJS, you can use directive in two manners. You have lot of built-in directives like we have discussed ngif, ngrepeat, ngapt and we can also create our own custom directives. If you are not familiar about what exactly a directive do, I have already created a video on the same. So you can watch that video by following this link. And I have also provided the link of that video in the description below. But this video is all about custom directives. So custom directives in AngularJS is your own directive with the own core function that runs when the DOM is compiled by the compiler. Suppose we want to reuse or we want to use some line of code in multiple pages in our application. So we don't want to write that code again and again. So instead of repeating the code, what you can do, you can write your logic somewhere in your Angular project and you can use that code with the help of custom directive. This way, the code is better to understand. It is easy to manage. So now let's see how we can create custom directive. So first of all, if you need to create a custom directive, you need to call a directive function on the module name. When you call this function, you can register a new directive. So in this, you can see I have app, this is my module object, and I have called a directive function on the same. The first parameter to directive function call is the name of directive to register. In this example, I have used the name my directive, which means that directive is activated every time in my HTML element, it will find the name my directive. The second parameter passed to the directive function is the directive function. This function should return a directive definition when invoked. AngularJS will invoke this function to obtain a JavaScript object which contains the definition of directive. So here I have written an empty object as of now. So this object will contain the definition of my custom directive. So there are a lot of keys you can pass in this custom directive and each key have a dedicated task to do. So all keys you will not use in the custom directive depend on the requirement and the need. You will choose which key you need to use. So let me tell you what are those keys which you, you can use in the custom directive. So in custom directive object, you can use the following keys to create your custom directive like template whenever you want to create the HTML part or UI for your custom directive. You can use restrict, link, compile, transcript, controller, replace and require. So there are a lot of keys you can define in the custom directive. In this video, we will just create a simple directive with the one key here, template. So let's create our custom directive. Move to your editor. For this demo, I will use this part 23 folder where I have one index.html file and one app.js file. Index.html file, I have linked this file with my Angular script and my module script. So if you move to your module file, I have created a very basic module and I have given it a name app. Now, if you want to create a directive, I, as I told you on module object, you need to call a method directive that will take the first parameter is the name of your directive. So maybe the name of my directive is user panel. And the second parameter is a factory function. And this factory function should return our object literal, which will contain the complete definition of your directive. So as of now, the required key here is template because whenever you will invoke your directive, you want to display something. So to display your HTML, you need to use one key here that is template. And here you can define your HTML here only. As of now, I'm just putting it H1 and say my custom directive. 
Now I just want to invoke this custom directory in my index.html file. So first of all, I need to link this main app to my index.html. So the module name is main app that I have registered here with the help of ng app. Now you, all you need to do just use your directive as a HTML tag that will execute the functionality at compile time. So my directive name is user panel, but there is a naming convention you need to follow. Whenever you create your directive, you should use camel case. But while using it in the index.html file, all your capital letter will be replaced by a hyphen. And in place of capital, you need to use small letters. So my directive name will become user hyphen and the capital character will convert to small. So now you can check whenever the index.html will find any tag, it, it, it is not an HTML tag. So it will look its definition and it will replace this tag with its functionality and that is your my custom directive. So run it in your browser and here you can check my custom directive is visible. It will not show user panel, it will show its functionality that is coming from this directive. So this is a very simple example of how you can create your own custom directive. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel for such more videos. Till then, keep learning, keep practicing. Bye-bye.